The Trump administration rolled out a plan to overhaul Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. What does it mean for the housing market? Tune in to Tom's Take right now. So news broke last week of a Trump administration plan to overhaul Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac after they became subject to a conservatorship after the 2008 financial crisis. So the plan calls to end the conservatorship. And if you don't know what a conservatorship is, I'm going to tell you. So it's when there's a guardian or protector appointed to handle the financial affairs of someone or some entity. In this case, it was the federal government to oversee Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And now that we're 11 years past the financial meltdown, they are calling for a plan to pull that back. And there's three objectives with the plan. And then I'm going to tell you what it means for the housing market buyers and sellers. One is they want to limit the role of the federal government. Two, they want to enhance taxpayer protections. And three, they want to increase the role of the private sector. And by doing that, it's going to allow these firms to keep more of their profits. So. A lot of legal jargon here, a lot of political stuff, and I'm not political in any way. Rather, this is big news in the housing market, so what does it mean? Well, the first thing I know is that the 53-page plan, it's not finalized yet. There's going to be debate between the president, between the Federal Housing Financing Agency, FHFA, and between Congress. This plan did mirror the Senate plan that was rolled out a few months ago. So it was pretty similar in that way. This is not going to be the final plan. Just like the new tax code, there's going to be a lot of changes made, concessions given. So I wouldn't worry about any sort of overreaction until something's finalized and being signed. Number two, if you think about how fragile the economy is right now with Brexit and all the talk of a recession, which we hit on a couple episodes ago, seeing the government mess with the housing industry because that's probably the brightest spot of the economy right now. And everyone's saying that's going to help things continue to remain strong from a housing perspective. I'm not clear if this is the right move at the time. Additionally, having the government involved in the housing industry, in the housing market, and having them oversee how these lenders work, that's not really a free market either. So I get the intention behind it. It's really going to be interesting to see what happens. So what I can tell you is this, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home right now, nothing's been finalized. If you have questions about this, talk to your agent and wait until the final plan gets rolled out because this is really going to affect the mortgage industry. It's really going to affect banks, lending money. And that's where a lot of the buyers have to go right now. So are we setting up for another financial crisis? Very, very doubtful. We've already talked about the recession, and a recession doesn't mean the housing market's going to go fall off a cliff here. So let's everyone pump the brakes. Let's see what this plan actually gets approved in it and what actually is going to be included in the plan. And then we can start to forecast how it's going to affect the real estate market. You got any questions about this? You know where to reach me. Otherwise, we'll be back next week.